going to be talking about the topic of angels. have my Strong's Concordance out here. And it starts down at the bottom, page 29, covers all of page 30, and then it goes into angels to top of page 31. Archangel is found twice. And here on page 162, we see cherub and cherubims. On that page. And last, we see seraphims mentioned here in Isaiah chapter 6. They are also described as the living creatures, or living beasts in the book of Revelation. Revelation 4.8, And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. Isaiah 6.2, And above it stood the seraphims, each one had six wings, with Twain he covered his face, and with Twain he covered his feet, and with Twain he did fly. A covered seraphim. Let's look at the archangel. Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke you. So we know that Michael is an archangel, and we know that there are seraphim, the six winged angelic beings um, in heaven. But I really want to look at what I call your angels, your common class angels. Everywhere you go, you see uh, these little baby figurines with uh, wings. They claim those are cherub. Uh, no. You always see uh, little female statues, female statues with wings. Uh, no. Angels are men. Every one of them in the Word of God is described as male. Also, they don't have wings. And I'll show you why that is with the Scripture. Now, at the beginning of Ezekiel, which we'll look at here in a minute, he mentions these winged creatures. And in 9.3 it says, And the glory of the God of Israel was gone up from the cherub, whereupon he was to the threshold of the house, and he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the rider's inkhorn in his side. Um, we're going to go back into Exodus, and you can see that they had cherubs on the top of the ark. And also in Ezekiel... Chapter 1, he sees these four living creatures come out of whirlwind there in verse 5. Also like, also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures, and this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man, and everyone had four faces, and everyone had four wings. And their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. And they had the hands of a man under their wings on their four sides, and they four had their faces and their wings. And their wings were joined one to another, and they turned not when they went. They went every one straight forward. Uh, if you ran into this creature just described, a cherub, with these four wings and four faces and uh, calves' feet, you would know. You would absolutely know that you would run into this cherub, this, this being, this uh, heavenly creature, this created angelic being, uh, this class of cherub, you would know. There's no mistaking that you would absolutely know that you had seen a cherub. Isaiah 14, verse 12, How you were fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning, how are you cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? Ezekiel 28, 14, You are the anointed cherub that covers... And I have set you so. You were upon the holy mountain of God. You have walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. You were perfect in your ways from the day that you were created till iniquity was found in you. Okay. So Satan is a cherub. 
he's one of these four-faced, four-winged, hooved foot beings. 2 Corinthians 11, 14. And marvel not, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Okay, so we, we know what the physical description of a cherub is. We know what the physical description of a seraphim is. We would know if we saw those. Okay. Uh, those, the, those are angelic beings created uh, for the purpose of serving God. But when we see angel in the Bible, just your classic angel, there's no wings, they're all male. And in Hebrews 13, 2, it says, Remember them that are in bonds as bound with them. Oh, helps if I read the right verse. Verse 2. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. All right, so your your classic angel, we they look just like us. They look like men. They just look like men. They don't have wings. They look like men. Otherwise, we would know if we have entertained them. We would know if we had come in contact with them. I think I would remember seeing a scary creature with four faces and four wings and hooven and feet, or another creature that has six wings, full of eyes, as the Bible describes them. So we're going to look at one more chapter. Uh, go back to the Old Testament, a very famous uh, scripture uh, story here, and uh, to show exactly that angels do not have wings. Now, if you read the story of the Lord and two angels visiting Abraham, beginning in Genesis chapter 18, it says, And the Lord appeared to him in the plains of Mamre, and as he sat in the tent of, of his door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. Okay, so this is the Lord. This is pre-incarnate Jesus Christ. This is called a theophany or Christophany. And there's two angels with him. Now, they will go down there. He makes food for them. And they sit down to have a meal with Abraham and to give the prophecy that she will bear a child. This is the prophecy of Isaac. And then the Lord sends his two angels down to Sodom to see if it's as evil as he has heard, which he already knows. He's given them their last chance for any righteous to flee. And Abraham talks with the Lord and Ask him to cut it down to 10. If you can find 10 righteous, you won't destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. So we get to chapter 19, and there came two angels. Now, we've just seen in the previous chapter, they were called men, even to Sodom. And Lot sat at the gate of Sodom. Lot seen them rose up to meet them, about himself with his face towards the ground. And uh, he finds out they have nowhere to stay, and he invites them to his house. In verse 4, But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called to Lot and said to him, Where are the men which came into you this night? Bring them out to us that we may know them. All right, so these angels, these angels look like men. They look like men. The, these wicked uh, Sodomites, that's where the term comes from, want the angels to be brought out so they can have relations with them. They don't know that they're angels because they look like men. They don't have wings. If they had wings, we would know. Uh, we, would, we would know that it would not be an angel. It would be a cherub or a seraph, not an angel. No wings, all male, through the Bible. Get yourself a concordance and check the rest of the scriptures if you don't believe me. Angels do not have wings. Angels are not female. They look like...